All right, everybody, this is your boy A-Dub here with a um, tutorial to show you how to save Adobe Premiere Pro videos and export them so that you can email them to yourself. Go inside of your phone and your iPhone, open up that email, download that email, and have that video in your um, when you go on your photos, you can um, actually actually you can see the video, and when you go on Instagram, you can upload that high definition video, high clear, crispy looking video, to your Instagram, and it all the whole video will be in the square. Now that's one step that people weren't showing you in those other YouTube tutorials, but however, I'm going to show you the way that you can make the video small enough and the compression rich enough to where the video still looks clean, crispy, great audio, and you um, can um, email it to yourself. File size is going to be about two megabytes big and it's going to be crispy clean. Alright, so first step is obviously open up uh, your Premiere Pro. I have a file open already. I have a sequence open already. I'm going to create a new sequence just for the tutorial. Um, new sequence. Alright, there's the first few important things that you're going to do. I'm going to show you right now. First few important things you're going to do is you're going to, let me name this sequence, um, uh, YouTube IG Toot. All right. Okay. You're going to go to settings. All right. Custom settings. Doesn't matter what your frame rate is. That doesn't matter at all. I put mine at 30. This is important right here. Video frame size, 1000 horizontal by 1000 vertical. Pixel aspect ratio, square pixels, and I have my my uh, video preview preferences on iframe only MPEG. That doesn't matter, I don't think. But make sure the width and the height, like I said, is on 1,000 height and 1,000 width. All right. So open up that uh, sequence. Here's our sequence we just created. First thing we're gonna do is we all know Instagram is 16 seconds long. So you're going to scrub across and make your work area 16 seconds long, rather. Make your work area reflect um, the time that uh, Instagram allows, which is 16 seconds. Just grab a clip. I'm going to grab a quick clip. Um, this is me, me singing. I have a video called Textual on YouTube. It's called Textual. A lot of women nowadays... You meet them and they just want to text. This video is about me not wanting to have a textual relationship. I want to have a sexual relationship. Sorry. Pause. Anyway, so you can check that video out. But um, I'm going to drag this clip down to my timeline. Keep existing settings. You see right here we got a square. And this is our rectangle. The high definition rectangle. So... I'm going to drag this clip across so it's the whole length of our sequence here. All right. But I know what you're saying. Hey, A dub, this clip right here isn't fitting in my square. Okay, double click on that clip clip so that it appears up top over here. And then click in on effects controls, go into motion, scale. Under scale, you want to make this clip 52. Watch what happens. See, I made that video. This can't be 51, can't be 50, can't be 53. 52 will fit that video. Well, depending on what how you shot the video. Um, but most videos, um, I think 1080 by 1920. They're um yeah, 52 is the uh, scale what you want to scale that video down to. The video perfectly fits inside of this square. I have a black bar at the bottom and a black bar at the top. Um, what you can do if you want to fill this black bars in is you can put some text in here, some promotional text. Hey, buy this or hey, this is the artist or you know what I mean? Not even hey, just display. I, I display my logo on mine. But OK, so let's skip ahead. Now we got the whole the whole clip, got the clip inside of the um, inside of the uh, square there. So next step is make sure you uh, got your sequence highlighted. Make sure you got your sequence highlighted, okay? Wait, let me make sure there's 16 seconds. Yeah, 16 seconds. All right, got your clip highlighted. File. 
export media. All right, here's where it gets crucial. Pay attention, folks, pay attention. All right, so what you want to do is, um, see, I have mine already saved, Instagram preset, but for the tutorial purposes, I'm going to show you how I did this. Go to custom, all right, pay attention. Go to custom, matter of fact, no, don't go to custom, I'm sorry, wrong move. Um, go to scroll down a list where it says to where it says iPhone 4 the newer one you know iPhone 4 uh, get the largest size 20 uh, I got mine on Apple TV iPad iPhone 4 and newer 960 by 540 29.97 that's the best quality I can get in these settings so I click that and the reason why I click that is because it's going to shrink, make the video in, a, in, a, in, the, in the right format so that it's good for the iPhone. Um, and it's going to make our file size real small. See, estimated file size, 2 megabytes. You can mail that, and the video still looks good. But I know what you're thinking. Hey, A-Dub, that video, one second, let me plug up. That video is not fitting in the whole square here. That video is not fitting in the whole square. All right, so this is what you're going to want to do for that. You're going to want to go right here, 960. See? I made the video 960 by 960. Make your width and your height 960 by 960. Now you can go right here and save this preset. Type in, I typed in um, Instagram preset. Um, Look, uh... In the gram video preset. All right, save now. Next time you go, you got the Instagram video preset and you don't have to do anything. All right, let's save this video as my computer is running slow. I really need a new Mac, so I need you guys to watch this video so I can buy a new Mac. Okay, say this video as YouTube I G tutorial. All right, YouTube I G tutorial. I'm gonna save it to my desktop right now. You can see I don't have a video called that on my desktop. So when I export it, it's actually probably going to take a little while. Actually, no, it should be short because it's um a short a small file. So boom, we got that. That's the output name. We got to send it to our desktop. Um, and one more thing, make sure you have your aspect ratio set to square pixels so that this video is square. All right, square video. You went and saved that under Apple. You changed the preset to Apple so that it makes this file size down here 2 megabytes. All right? Because this is right, right here where, it, where it's crucial. It's not going to work if you don't do it. Nine, 960 by 960. All right, now you export this. Let's see how long it's going to take. I might pause the video. doesn't look like it's going that fast. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you guys the rest of this thing. All right? You're going to love it. This it says it's going to take about... Um, nine minutes or so, a little over nine minutes, probably ten minutes. Now it's up to nine. Yeah, about ten minutes. Pause the video real fast. I'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back recording, and we're just about done. It says two seconds. Um, that actually took about maybe like four or five minutes, actually. So, okay, that's done. We're going to close this out. Just so my computer gives my computer some more processing speed here. Close this out, and as you can see, that clip is on my desktop. It's just showing it like that right now because I guess it's still saving or something. So, but if you clip, if you click on it and you Command I, you can see that. Sorry, it's 2.8 megabytes big, and if you preview it, actually, double click on it. To preview it, uh, I'm going. I'm doing the most right now. I'm, I shouldn't even do this, but whatever. Um, come on. Sorry, so slow. I need a new Mac. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you can see that it's still 
It's still a good, it's still like clear, you know what I mean? And of course, on Instagram, it's going to be like way smaller than that. So, you know, the smaller it is, the, the clearer it's going to get. All right, so let me close quick turn. So now what you want to do is you want to open up your email. I already have mine open. And you want to compose an email. You want to get an attachment. And you want to grab that file that's on the desktop. Go to your navigate to the desktop and then grab that file that we just created YouTube IG tutorial click on it choose and see at the bottom it's, it's downloading to your inner your um, thing and um, I'm gonna put a mail it to myself awproductions at gmail.com it's okay I'll share that with y'all you know what I'm saying anyway um so um uh, IG video all right I'm gonna oh video all right, I'm going to email that to myself, and then I guess I'm going to have to grab another camera so I can show you guys my iPhone. We're doing this for iPhone. All right, this is um, Adobe Premiere Pro to iPhone to Instagram. All right, now we're going to send that email. Send. It should pop up right here. All right, I did this before. That's why it's right there, but it should pop up right there in a second. Let me refresh my browser. Uh, refresh my browser there's the new one see it and also on my iPhone I'm gonna show it to you that it's here um in my messages in my gangster mail my Gmail there it is right there you see it it's the one at the top that we just created the one that's not open with the dot next to it the bottom one was the my practice because I practice for you guys Alright, so we're going to open that up in a second. I'm just trying to make sure you got that on the screen there. I could show you from right here, as a matter of fact. No, but I'm going to... I'm, I'll grab my other video camera, and um, I'll finish the tutorial on the video camera with my hand. Alright? Alright, hold on. Alright, folks, so we are back, and now we have our iPhone in front of us right here. So, as I said, we emailed... Last up, we emailed the um, file to ourselves, so we're going to go into our email right now. We're going to grab that email. See, there's a file. Tap to download. We're going to wait till it downloads really fast, faster than my Mac. That file downloads. Open it up so you can see it. Now, what you want to do is go down to the bottom where this little triangle with the up thing is. Tap that. And then this screen comes up and you press save. Save video and it saves the video. It saves the video to your files. So you can close that out. Go to Instagram. Instagram. And then, wow, I got a lot of likes and stuff on this video. And then you go, um, boom. And then you go to your camera. Go to the camera, right? And then you go find the clip that we just made. There it is. See? High definition. You display your text. And all you gotta do is post it. But I'm not gonna post it because I already posted um, the real one that I wanted to. Alright? So, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Um, all your videos will be crispy clean now. And that is how you send your video from your video camera. Adobe Premiere Pro, edit the video, export the video, email that small video, open that video up, download the attachment, go into Instagram, tap the video, um, and select the video, and upload that video to Instagram. Right, now, you, now you got crispy clear videos. Yeah. A -W -A -W -A -W -A -W. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do it.